In this question, we're given the formula of a polyatomic ion. The formula in this question is CO3 2 minus, and our goal is to find the name of this polyatomic ion. So firstly, let's talk quickly about what polyatomic ions are. So far, we've only looked at monatomic ions. For example, oxygen, 2 minus. That's a monatomic ion. It's just the oxygen atom that's gained two electrons in order to have a charge of oxygen, 2 minus. The one we're given here is CO3, 2 minus. So that consists of carbon and three oxygens. So it looks something like this, a carbon with three oxygens attached. And that whole structure all together has a charge of two minus. So inside our structure, we have covalent bonds holding together this molecule. And then that whole molecule has gained two electrons in order to get a charge of two minus. And that whole molecule can then form compounds with other ions, such as metals. So for example, if we had a magnesium two plus ion, that could form a compound with this CO3 two minus ion, because you can see here, we've got a two minus charge on that and a two plus charge on our magnesium. So they could form a compound um, the same way as you could form a, con a compound between magnesium and oxygen. So that's what a polyatomic ion is. It's a molecule with covalent bonds between the atoms, which has then either gained or lost electrons to become a polyatomic ion. To find the name of this ion, that's something that we have to either look up or memorize. So going to the reference sheet on our equation page, Now to find the name of this iron, you either have to just have memorized it, or you can look it up in the list on the reference sheet page. So on the polyatomic ions page of the reference sheet, we can have a look down either our names or our symbol formulae list. And I'm looking for CO3 two minus, and I already found it, there it is. CO3 two minus, the name of that iron is carbonate. So to answer this question, what's the name of this iron? Its name is carbonate. So with these, you can either memorize them, your teacher might have you memorize them, or you can go and use a list such as the one on the formula sheet to look it up each time.